Hello and welcome to Rock Talk. I'm Dr. Killjoy. And my name is C Train. Thanks for stopping by our little slice of podcast heaven. If you like what you see today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, get notification, and follow us for more. Heck yeah, check our links in the bios. Uh, today's uh, episode is, uh, where, where are we at on these episodes? Are we like at number 2000 yet? 25? Uh, this is about our 14th or 15th show. Oh, okay. Well, we are still at the ground level working our way up, and we have a lot of ideas for new new content and uh, new just new ideas across the board. And we really appreciate your support. We would. Uh, any comments that you have? Any uh, Anything you want to ask? Uh, anything you think that we should know? You know, leave a comment down below. Yeah, it kind of rhymes. So, uh, today's episode is uh, about somebody that everybody seems to know a whole lot about. Um, one Taylor Swift. Um, I know a little bit about her. Do you know a whole lot about her, Mr. Um, I, I probably know around what you know about her. I'm not a big fan of what she does, but um, the reason we're talking about Taylor Swift today is because we noticed that. Uh, her movie, her new movie that's coming out um, about her concert and really successful concert yep. that she just had is um, is going to be hitting the theaters here pretty soon. Uh, it's starting uh, September fifteenth and in a limited release, and then expanding to a wider release uh, through September twenty ninth. And it's already affected other movies that are supposed to hit around the same time. Yeah, they are all moving out of the way because they don't want to get clobbered by this movie. And you got to get away, get out of the way of that bus. Yeah, she, everything that she touches turns to gold, it seems. Um, she's got her uh, Taylor Swift tour movie coming out and her concerts. And one of, the, well. one of the movies that are going to be moving out of the way is the new Exorcist movie. Yes, the but highly anticipated new Exorcist. I don't understand because it doesn't seem like the same people that would be watching The Exorcist would really be affected by the Taylor Swift movie. It seems like it would be two completely different groups of people. Yeah, it uh, the the Exorcist Believer movie moved uh, to ten uh, an opening date of ten six twenty three to get out of the way of uh, the Taylor Swift concert tour movie, which has already made its production budget back. That is just insane that the movie isn't the Taylor Swift's tour is not even released yet, and already it's made its money back. That is insane. And earlier I saw, I said, I'm not a fan of Taylor Swift. Don't, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Um, Taylor Swift, I'm sure as a person is a very genuine, very nice person, a person that can be respected that, uh, that you can talk with. She seems like she's very nice, a great person to work for. She's very generous with, uh, with her, with her people. Yeah. Um, I, I just don't understand what it is about her music that everybody's so attracted to. Well, uh, we were reading her her Wikipedia page, and uh, she is uh, she is very generous towards her her crew and her staff. Um, she's uh, she donates to a lot of different charities. She's uh, man, she's she's given out millions in to charities. Yeah, she seems like a very solid person. Um, but what is it about Taylor Swift that uh, that stands out from the crowd? Yeah, you know, what is it that draws you? Um, leave a comment about it is there like her her style of music her style of, of singing um because she there's no doubt I mean, there's no denying the woman draws a crowd yeah she does she gets attention yeah um but why i think she's a savvy businesswoman as well she's not a pushover um she re-recorded albums in order to pocket more of the earnings so that way the record companies yeah, she's you know, been in business since 2006, uh, in the business, and the variety of her songs just, I, that poor, that, whoever it was that broke her heart <laughs> must have done a horrible job, oh, yeah. um, because it seems like the majority of her, of her work is about that. Breakup tunes or... Breakup tunes. Which everybody can relate to at some point in their life or another, but apparently Taylor yeah. Swift just... Hits the nail on the head every time. And and we have watched her. She does have a, um, a preview of the new movie coming out. And um, from what you can see about her shows, the production of her show looks fantastic. It, it looks like it's a really good show. Um, it, she gets great reviews. Uh, there have been uh, famous people that have gone and says, it's a really good show. So there's no doubt the woman knows how to entertain on stage. Yeah. Um, at least the money's going into it. And it, apparently it looks really good. 
Okay, which begs the question. If you could see Madonna in her prime versus the current Taylor Swift in her prime show, which one would you which um, would you go for? God, that's because Madonna was the same way when she started out. She maybe was. not to this degree. And look what happened to her. Yeah, but everything that Madonna did back in the eighties and uh, you know early nineties turning to gold. Every single, every concert. So, are you trying to say that Taylor Swift is the new Madonna? It could very well be because she is. She's. I mean, the numbers don't lie. Taylor Swift is a force to be reckoned with. You know, in in the music world. You know, she's not going to go broke anytime soon. She's she could retire tomorrow, and and be happy the rest of her life. Yeah, so go ahead, and if you could, please leave a comment. Let us know what it is about that person. What? Why is she so magnetic? What draws you to her that you want to see the movie? But you know what we forgot to do? What do we forget to do? Our fans are probably scratching their head right now and trying to think, something's missing. Something. There's something there's, not right with the show. Something is, no, something, something is off. Something is off. There's something. It's off. Something there's is, a void. There's a, there is a void. That's there's true. a void in the show. Yes. And what void would that be? Hmm. Um, I'm thinking about it. I'll, I guess off my first glasses, we're missing. We're missing someone. We're missing someone. Where could that person be, hmm. Mister Lord Six? You're right. Lord Six is not here. Did he take a vacation day? No, he no. wouldn't. No, not, as far as I know, let me check. What is nope. It? There's no nothing on the calendar. What's the old that? interweb say? Uh, the calendar said was we're supposed to be filming today. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me uh, reception. I'm here. You're here. I'm here. Where's he? Where where is Mr. Six? Well, apparently, Lord Six, in an effort to gain, I guess, access or to get more help for his uh, his foundations, has um is attempting to partner with the Illuminati. And um during the negotiations, somehow in an act of heroism, apparently, he has obtained an injury. That requires hospitalization, sadly. sadly. So for those of you that pray, please pray for Lord Six's quick recovery. Uh, for you, those that don't, please hope for Lord Six's quick recovery. And send flowers, send blessings, send comments. Yes, comments. Uh, let, let Lord Six know we, we really hope that he recovers from his, his. the injury sustained while his act of heroism with Illuminati. Was it substantial? Uh, no, it was isolated to his toe. Oh. His toe. It was isolated to his toe, but it requires a lot of love, a lot of care, thoughts and a lot prayers. of treatment, th thoughts and prayers. Prayers. Um. <laughs> so we will hope for a quick recovery for Lord Six, so that he may come in and enlighten us. Yes, we'll have to call him Lord Six the Enlightened. Yes, yeah, Lord Six by the next Six. episode. Well, we should change the name of the band from the Medicated to the Enlightened. Well, see, only he will be illuminated. Oh, oh. medicated will not. We're not illuminated. See, the invitation was not extended to the medic medicated. Sadly. Oh, I know. Sadly, very sadly. Very sad. We very sadly we we were not invited to this exclusive nightclub, or, or club, or organization, or group of people. That doesn't exist. <laughs> that doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, all right. So if you like what you see today, please be sure to hit the like, subscribe button, uh, follow us for more, um, so we can keep bringing all this good stuff to you and keep you entertained. Um, Heck yeah. Thank you for stopping by uh, our little slice of podcast heaven, and we hope to see you on the next one. And let's keep those prayers going for Lord's sakes, and hopefully his toe gets better and can come and, and uh, share his illumination with us next time. Until then, have a good night. Keep on rocking. Keep on rocking.